We are the Lonely Blue Boys, and you're watching Musica LA. Hello, I'm Ernie Vargas. We are here at the uh, Belasco Theater on Hill Street in Los Angeles, California, and we are the Lonely Blue Boys. <laughs> Call me Uncle Ernie, because these guys are my nephews. That's the only reason. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've been playing for about 14 years. We kind of got together in the back of my dad's garage, and we just kind of started from there. So we basically do 1950s rock and roll doo-wop, and the other members came into the band as we just kind of developed. That's how it started. Hi, my name is Luis Enriquez and I play the guitar. Yeah, how long have you been playing? Um, <clears throat> for 14 years I started out with, with these fellas here. They gave me a chance to play, so I appreciate that. Hi. I'm Little Ernie Vargas from the Lonely Blue Boys. I'm also a vocalist. Sometimes I play the fool. <laughs> my name is Alex Vargas. I'm a bassist and vocalist for the Lonely Blue Boys. Hi. My name is Ken. I play tenor sax. And he's cool. Look at that. He's been playing forever. <laughs> I've been playing for quite a while. He's even on a record. Yeah, and uh, we had a record in uh, 1962 called Cinnamon Cinder, Pastel Six. He's an OG uh, original mm -hmm. member there, you know. Now, now you have you said you have uh, family members. Who are they? Yeah, uh, Ernie, little Ernie Vargas, the third. Is he the third one? Yeah, and Alex Vargas the third. I'm the second Ernie. And our manager is Alex Vargas. He's the I'm over here. he's the second. He's the he's a new member to the band. He's a manager. We he he retired. He have anything to do? So he said, "Why don't you manage us?" Right there he is, right there. Hey man, I know. That's Alex Vargas. That's Uncle Alex Vargas. Uncle Alex Vargas. Now, now, how long have you been playing? Uh, together as a group? Yeah. Around 14 years we started. Well, we've been playing off and on because. Ernie started his own project and Alex and they kind of worked together on uh, the Vargas Brothers uh, doing um, Rockabilly and then they're kind of doing their own projects. So we kind of been playing off and on through the years. Can you tell me about the, the style of music that you play? Well we play, uh, you know, rock and roll, some uh, of the classic stuff and uh, some of the stuff that's, uh, what would you say? The, Keep it do up alive. The B-sides. We, yeah. do the de we do the doo-wop. It uh, has a lot to do with the, the vocal parts. Me, Ernie, and Alex sing the vocal parts. Now, now you, you, you have quite a, a long uh, musical uh, background, right? So how did you get started? Is that because I'm older, or you think mm -hmm. I'm older? Mm -hmm. or <laughs> no, you're accomplished. <laughs> no, I uh, started when I was about 14. So I'm, uh, should I tell you all that? Yeah. Take a guess. No. 
Anyway, it's been a long time, yeah. I started when I was 14, I started out as a drummer, and I started playing guitar and keyboards. But, yeah. How, how did you form the band? Well, er Ernie and Alex just started coming around. They've always, their dad used to sing with, uh, with me, me and uh, other friends from high school in the 60s. And the boys have always been around music, so they got interested in learning to play and sing. And so uh, it kind of just developed just in, in the back of the garage there. We didn't really plan it. It just happened, so to speak. And, and now you have quite a interesting background yourself, right? What's your, what's, tell me a little bit of your history. Uh, I started playing the, uh, professionally in the 60s. And I worked with different groups and I guess the most famous one would be Hank Ballard and the Midnighters. I worked for him for like 15 years. Now I'm playing with these guys. There you have it. And you play sax? Yeah, I play sax. And Arnalto? Yeah. Yeah, I played a lot of doo-wop shows. I backed up all those different groups, you know, from the Coasters and the Platters and Jimmy Reed. And the name of my play with them. My name is Jorge Zamora. Best drum in the world. <laughs> uh, here to jam out with the Lonely Blue Boys tonight. Can't wait to do that. Can you tell me a little bit about your background? Uh, been playing music with these guys since, I'm gonna say, 99, 2000. First band, it was the Country Cats, then uh, Lonely Blue Boys, and after that, uh, we've been uh, playing with uh, Pachuco Jose, y Los Diamantes, so about, I'm gonna say about 10, almost 15 years of uh, jamming out with these guys. So, good, good chemistry. That's why I'm living.